Hi everyone, so welcome to Investing for Value. So like this is another video on an update of a previous video that I did about Inovio, which link will be up there. Um, and this, as you notice, Inovio is up nearly 70% on the current market when it closed. Um, and on the aftermarket, it's up almost, yeah, like almost 12%. As you can see, it's still moving up and down on the aftermarket, but generally it's been moving upwards. Uh, which is quite an incredible rise. We could see the stock basically up 100% uh, when markets open by tomorrow, like the 70, and I've got no doubt it's going to continue to rise. Um, and why is it rising this quick? Well, if you look at the other stocks when they were rising, like if you look at um, like Moderna or Vertec when it was like rising, these two companies were like um, basically jumping a lot because they had found the vaccine and everyone kind of thought oh these are bigger companies they have more money and they're gonna just go get there faster um, but now you have like Inovio shares rally after biotech says human trials of coronavirus will start in April um, of course like companies like Gilead it also said oh like we're gonna start in April as well uh, but you got such a small company like this doesn't even like register on the scale when you compare to like a giant company like Gilead um, but you know like they're basically um, on par like this company is proving something that even the large large companies aren't really catching up with so when you consider that um, yeah like this is an amazing result for such a company and yeah like as I talked it's still moving up it's like 13% in the aftermarket um, because as you can see like the current situation has not gotten better like the Fed just cut rates by half a percent which kind of sends a lot of fear into the market and it kind of like means like that even the Fed looks like they're having a bit of fear or they either just caving into pressure from Trump either one anyway um, and markets and yeah they were down 785 points uh, so like you can see markets are just really down lately like you consider what happened like last week when markets were down like well over 10% um, and this week um, markets don't look like they're gonna fare any better like the increasing of you know like the decreasing of rates decreasing um, hasn't really made things better um, so now people are kind of getting a bit more desperate everyone's looking for the stock that might be the saving grace and it tends to be like a lot of biotechs because the only only the only company that can solve health problems you know literally out of biotechs right um so when a company like an OVO, like say it comes out and says we're ahead of the pack we're going to be testing our vaccine in april and of course there's a lot of talk that testing a vaccine um, on humans because you kind of have to start with very healthy humans because you don't really want to give this vaccine to people who are sick because it you know like it risks making it risks you know you like worsening their health um, so you want to give this to people who are healthy make sure it's actually okay for their, for their system um, and then as you go you test on people who are sick um, so usual case it, is, it usually takes about 12 months but there's actually talks that as things get worse and as urgency kind of builds up that this vaccine might not actually need 12 months that it's just going to be rushed through trials um, so there's that kind of like potential that this uh, vaccine comes out much earlier than um, and then having to wait 12 months uh, there's actually yeah like there's actually speculation that it could come out at the end of the year which would probably mean less than 12 months um, but you know all that's still speculation and it is all up to the like actual testing if they actually do the testing on the you know if they look at the human trials and the human trials aren't actually too bad then they might consider hey it's not too bad why you know why, why not just keep pushing the trials ahead and as, as things go really well you could actually have like the government starting to come in and in going, if you need more funding, here's more funding. Um, just rush things along because things are getting a bit dire around this current situation. Um, and, you know, like we're spending a lot of money trying to diagnose people and everything. 
so we might as well spend the money on you um, to fix and solve this and cure everyone, right? So you have, you know, these all these companies chasing this, um, but it's really, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of like, as I mentioned in the pr prior video, um, it's, there's, it's, there's some, you know, it's kind of funny because this company hasn't actually released anything commercial in the last four decades. But it, it's looking like it might do something incredible um, this time. Um, and the market's kind, kind of like piling on right now and going, we, we kind of have a little bit of belief that this company, originally when they announced that they had a vaccine, um, I think everyone was a little skeptical. The share price jumped up, but then it came back down. But now that they're like, we're going to actually start human trials, that's like this next milestone. The minute you can say like, we're going to start human trials, that's like a lot of confidence in what you have. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a great sign for like, especially a biotech, because you, especially like this company where it doesn't actually have much going for it in terms of like commercial revenue, uh, that all of a sudden you have something that the market really wants. It's not out on the market commercially, but they know you're working on something, they know it's important, and they know it's of urgency. Um, and, you know, it could be given favorable treatment, it be, could be given for future funding. Um, there's a lot of things that move in its uh, favor. So, you know, it's, or, you know, you might not, you might disagree, you could just be like, well, the market's just um, very panicky, everyone's very, you know, um, speculative, a bit hyped, so everyone's just buying anything that looks like it might sound good, uh, you know, which, you know, if, of course, at the end of the day, things like these things like here get a bit speculative, um, and who knows, by the time they come out with um, an actual cure, it may not be needed, so, you know, that's kind of the risk when you buy at a high valuation, especially right now, like, you look at that, and it's like, 70% uh, on the current market and then 15% right now on the aftermarket and things are really getting pushed along um, so that's kind of the consideration like um, if you buy if, if like in terms of like if you should be buying like if you buy right now it's quite a high valuation so you know you, you don't really want really to take that much of a risk um, but anyone holding previously um, yeah they're doing really well um, because they kind of saw this small, small company um, just coming out with this vaccine that um, all the it, it actually took all the large billion dollar companies, um, yeah, more time to actually try to compete. Like you don't actually have a lot of big companies rushing ahead. Like they're also got a timeline of like April, but it's also similar to Inovio. And it's like, so in terms of the progress, it seems like the market valuation doesn't necessarily make that much of a difference. The more more money hasn't made like quicken everything up, um, and it's and yeah, like you look at the Novio, they don't have as much money as them. They don't the valuation of the company isn't as much, but they're really catching up. And as, as I said in the previous video, this could well be a billion dollar company. Especially like you look at the valuation right now and it's like seven hundred and fifty five million dollars So we're really not that far from that uh, billion dollar gap um, And you know this this valuation doesn't count the aftermarket increase So and in after if you, if you count the aftermarket increase um, Yeah, you're hitting well close to nine hundred million by the rate of things uh, And when markets open tomorrow, it could well be a billion um, given, you know, like the progress, uh, and, and, and in some sense it is hype as well. So, you know, it, it gets very hypey, but speculative around these things. Um, yeah, but I thought I'd just update you on the previous video, and I thought it was just quite interesting, particularly how small this company is compared to, to like the multi-billion dollar giants, or even, you know, some are worth hundreds of billions of dollars, you know. Um, so, yeah, like, Good on these guys for like really pushing for it, um, and now the market's actually really excited about this company. Uh, though we still have to see. Like at the end of the day, they haven't tested the vaccine. No one knows if it really works, and that's the thing. That's why we have human trials because we really need to see. Like you, you prove something works on a laboratory basis, but can you prove that it works on humans on a mass scale? 
And that's the real test about these things. Um, you can come out with something and say, oh, it works, but does it really work? Um, so that's the that's going to be a true test for this company. Um, and, you know, we can see how things go as time passes. But, you know, I thought, like, they've just come out and they've just said, we're going to test it on humans. Um, and, the, and the share price is a massive, massive, like, uh, reaction. The upside has just dramatically, you know, increased. But the share price has also dramatically increased as well. Um, yeah, it's, but, you know, I thought it was quite interesting. Um, yeah, if you've got any, like, le definitely let me know what your thoughts are around this company. Uh, if you have any other companies you want to look at, uh, just let me know. Be happy to look at those. Um, until then, good luck.